Up first, we have Lewis calling from Miami, Florida. Hey, Lewis, welcome to the show. Hi, guys. Thank you for having me. Hey, thanks for being here. How can we help? Well, I'm in a financial crisis, and and actually, um, I'm anxious and I'm scared. Uh, we sold our home uh, eight months ago, and we had proceeds of about seventy thousand dollars. But because our debt to ratio is upside down, we've been finding ourselves dipping off of that money and paying bills, and we're down to thirty-seven thousand to buy a home and we're scared because we're still upside down in our debt. Well, tell us about this debt. How much debt do you have? Well, together with the two vehicles that I have, I have about $76,000 in debt. Just all vehicles? No, that's just uh, 33000 is credit cards and small loans, and the rest is for the two cars. But seventy six is the total? Correct. Okay. What is your uh, household income? Household income is about 115000 Okay. Uh, th- I mean, I'm looking at the numbers here. It gives me a lot of hope. But I think part of it is, have you continued using the credit cards? Shame on me, but yes. Well, it's okay. But uh, starting today, I think we need to cut them up because it's a crutch that's causing you to go further into debt. And on top of that, you're depleting the money. So you're using the credit cards, but you also said you're dipping into the proceeds from the home sale. That's correct. And is that going to just cover the bills, or is there spending habit issues as well? Well, it's mostly covering the bills from spending on credit cards and and small loans and things like that. Mm. Now, what are the cars worth? The cars are worth, actually, coincidentally, I, I went and appraised one of the cars today, and they're actually giving more than what I owe on the vehicle. This is a great situation. If I'm in your shoes and you're feeling that level of anxiety, like you can't crawl out of this thing, I would sell the cars and purchase something, a, a very reasonable, affordable used car with cash with the savings that you have. And with the proceeds okay. from the, you know, the profits from the car sales. Okay. Because that would leave you with how much debt? If you got rid of all the car loans, you just had the credit cards and personal loans, that leaves you with thirty three k. That's correct. And frees up the payments that you were making on those car loans. Now making one hundred fifteen thousand with more margin, how quickly could you pay off thirty three thousand? Right, makes sense. That gives me that you feel that energy that we just created there, the momentum. Yes, you did. And so I think that is your next step. But beyond that, we have to change our behavior because selling the cars is a great shortcut. It's like a life hack, right? But we have not touched the behavior of what caused us to spend. And so part of that is the debt payments for sure. But part of it is we got to get on a budget. We are not eating out. We are scared through our – we have got to get out of debt. It's the last thing we do. And I think that's part of the reason you've called today. I can hear it in your voice. I mean it sounds like you've had that I've had it moment. It may have just recently happened. But it seems like it's happened. Is that correct? Oh, no, that is definitely correct. Uh, uh, I've, I've not only had it, but I'm almost to the scared point because this is the money that we had to buy our home. We're renting now, waiting to find our home, but the money's depleting pretty quickly. Well, and that's when a lot of times real life change happens, when people hit that spot where they're like, we cannot live life like this anymore. It is time to change. That's when real change happens. So I know today is scary, and I know that you feel that palpitation in your in your chest, and it feels nerve wracking. But I I know it's hard to hear this, but that's a good thing because today is the day that everything's going to change. Today is going to be the day that you look back on when you're on that debt free stage, and you say, "That's the day that everything changed. That's the day I made a decision. I stopped spending on credit cards. I changed my mindset. I got an FPU, and I was all in." And, Lewis, I don't want to be the bearer of bad news here, but you're not ready to be a homeowner right now. And so I know you see this pile of cash. You go, well, that's for the home. Right now it's to pay off the debt because that home's going to own you if you jump into it right now. And so here, if I'm in your shoes and you want to follow the baby steps, you want to be gazelle intense, here's what you're doing. You're selling both cars, and hopefully the profits from that can get you used cars. If you need to dip into some of that savings to make it happen, that's okay. But the rest of that money, you might have 33000 left in savings or 34000 and you can clean up the rest of that debt this week. Right. 
Think about that. You're in a position where by the end of the week, you could be completely debt-free with no payments and about a 1000 bucks in the bank. And yes, it feels like, well, we're moving backwards. No, my friend, you are moving forwards because you are not paying interest. You don't owe anyone anything. And now all of that 115000 can help you build back up your fully funded emergency fund, which means you're never going back into debt again. And then we can start saving back up for the house. So it may be three years before you're ready to jump into a house, which I know is frustrating. But man, you're going to be in a different place financially by the end of the week if you follow this stuff. Lewis, how does that wow, feel? That makes, that makes a lot of sense. Well, I want to equip you. I know we can't do it all on a radio call. I'm going to gift you one year of Financial Peace University. I want you to watch those videos with your family, all nine lessons, get fired up, use the every dollar budgeting tool to make a plan for every single dollar coming in. And man, please call us back when you're debt free. I love, we always love the where are they now stories, Christine. Yes. We never get to hear it. And I can feel the fire that Lewis has got. And we want to keep that going. So hang on the line. Austin's going to pick up. We'll gift you one year of Financial Peace and every dollar premium.